3 21 has an interesting dimension in it. All right, so if we go back and uh, and check after we've generated this geometry, the hexagon 60 across the flat tells me that it's an inscribed circle. If it was across the points, then we would have a circumscribed circle. Center line of the circle is a vertical line. Um, if it was shifted, the 52 millimeters, but it doesn't quite work out uh, based on the 45 degrees that that extension, that center mark and extension lines go through the uh, through the points. So that 52 millimeters is suspect. All right, so we'll just kind of cross that off for now. And from a manufacturing standpoint, I would really like that circle to be uh, centered, but I want to pay attention to it, and if it needs to be off-centered, then it's something that we can include in the manufacturing process. But for now, we're going to go into the top plane. I'm going to have this be um, located around the origin. We'll go into the polygon, and since it is a, a hexagon, we'll bring the six sides out. And by default, unless I've... Uh, Made, uh, made something else along the way during this session. So 60 millimeters, I can pick the inscribed circle and define it as well as picking the, uh, the two shapes. I'm right clicking and going back into the select. And any of the, well, okay, either two <laughs> of the uh, vertices can be horizontal and that will give me my, my shape. All right, so the 20 millimeters in the center or oh, sorry 24 millimeters centered and then features extrude we're going to have a height of 80 millimeters and generate the uh, the shape so that gives me the points kind of in the uh, the correct location I'm going to go to the front plane and open up the sketch so along, along will be in the line command, going from the top corner to the bottom right with a 45 degree. And this can be extrude cut through all, both. And we make sure that the side to cut, flip, uh, flip cut is removing the uh, the material in the correct direction and we hit OK. Alright so the issue and looks like I rotated that just right. <laughs> Alright so that being the case um, let's see what happens if we try to manipulate this. Alright so which way would that have gone? All right, so my original assumption that the vertices would have been horizontal, let's right-click on the sketch, edit the sketch, or right-click on the feature and edit the sketch. So I'm going to go back and identify that horizontal and delete those out. And we'll just pick one that's a little bit closer and select the origin, make those vertical. That rotates my shape. And that is the desired result. All right, so if we were to open up a sketch on this face and given the information that we have, bring between the two points and we have our elliptical shape going through the angle, then this works out to be a length of 42.43. So we could say it's either an error or that um, it is a, um, uh, a manufacturer. So if I need that to be an actual 52, let's uh, take the midpoint coincident off of that. Let's see, we're still defined, so it aligned to the origin pretty well, or to the midpoint, so that's okay. If I put in the 52, and I need to have that at 52 millimeters off of that face, 
now I have something that I can measure to. All right, so from that point to that face, and we come over to our evaluate, and I tell it to measure, then I have a length of 23.23 millimeters. And within our tolerance, that's probably close enough. All right, if it goes out multiple decimal places, um, we'll have to um, have to decipher that a little bit more. All right, so based on its position, and we have a couple of, uh, of circles there, so I want to be careful. How about we do this instead? Since this is a what-if scenario, I'm going to switch the circle to construction and miss that by just a little bit. We can set those two to be equal since we know that they uh, are the, uh, the same. We'll set the center point horizontal to the origin and then off of this edge we can be 23.23. Alright, now when I complete it shifts and shows me the point at the, uh, the circle but that's not quite what the picture looks like. So, so we have two conditions that we can switch between and determine which one is correct. So I'm going to hide my sketch. That definitely doesn't look like it, but uh, to make the, uh, the change then, if I highlight both circles, select Control Select, and flip the construction geometries, now I'm very easily can go between the two conditions. All right, so save, and that becomes 21.